It's like an old movie, Ace Ventura. Come to me, my jungle friends. Uh, you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't like it when you're not around. Even when I'm in a bad mood. I don't care. You could be in a bad mood. I really screwed up, man. This is Camp Kenneth. What's up, everybody? Uh, just got back from the gym. And, uh, man, I am uh, texting Kate. But I gotta tell her, I told her I'm trying to do a video and she's still texting me. Uh, but we gotta just uh, put this on silent. And I wanna show you what's going on, I'm really excited. Oh, but first, hold on. I wanna actually go to the refrigerator because I wanna kinda see what's going on. Maybe we got something I can feed this little critter. Uh, we have some exciting news. I pulled in and I kinda noticed somebody that doesn't belong here, or rather, someone that I don't know. Uh, and I want to kind of uh, hook it up. What's this? Super greens. Organic girl, good clean greens. Well, I'm going with this. Hope you don't mind, Kate. This will be fun. Uh, I don't think they like spinach. Let's see. Uh, I hope it's not. No, it's got a bunch of different greens in it. So let's see if this works. But um, kind of interesting. All right, so I drove home. All right, pulled in the gates and Walking around my yard was, oh boy, this will be a lame video if she's disappeared. Let's see. But walking around my yard was, um, hello, miss, it, where'd she go? Oh no, we gotta find her again, people. She couldn't have gone far. Let's see, I hope she didn't go swimming. Oh man. That's crazy. Did she go up the tree? She was full of eggs. I hear something. Where the heck did she go? That's so weird. Oh, there she is. Hey, look at that. So, what we got here, hey girl, just relax, just relax. What we got here is a green iguana and it's a female that is just loaded with eggs. She's got eggs. She's got eggs. She's looking to lay them. Yeah! The girl's got eggs. She knows where to lay. I don't know, that's an old ZZ Top song that I've repurposed for this particular uh, incident. I'm trying to throw a couple of grapes, see if she's hungry. Um, you know, it's not like their normal food. And then we've got these super greens. Um, now here's the scoop. As you all know, uh, iguanas are a feral animal here. So this is either someone's pet that got loose or I suppose it's the offspring or it's ancestral iguana parents were iguanas that were brought in for the pet trade. They don't occur here naturally. So I'm not allowed to touch this thing. I don't, I'm just gonna give it a little food I'm actually, well, no, I'm feeding my uh, turtles. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm feeding my turtles. But you can see that this female is just kind of wandering around the yard looking for some place to lay her eggs. I don't know if there's some kind of like, you know, secret lizard language or reptile language that they all communicate with each other and say, you know, you gotta go to that Kenan guy's house. You're safe over there, man. So let's go see. She's over here, but I, I love this and you know, my thoughts on feral animals, I mean, for me, like when we were talking about frozen iguanas, hey, take it easy, kid. When we were talking about frozen iguanas, um, you know, I kind of was like, let nature take its course, you know? And that's kind of what I'm doing here. I'm not going to intervene with this animal. Um, although, if I'm being honest, I did just throw some food for it. But as you can see, she could care less. Now my turtles are eating it. Um, so basically, she's doing her thing. Um, I'm really, I'm not going to try and grab her. I'm not going to try and dig up the eggs or anything like that. I'm just going to let her do her thing. Iguanas um, here in the United States and Florida are, you know, they're kind of a nuisance for people that kind of live uh, near the water. Uh, they dig into the banks and stuff and they can kind of ruin the uh, docking. That's what they say. They also are more unpleasant because most people are from up north. They come down for vacations. They have these vacation homes and they're not used to seeing giant lizards on their patios and docks and then they leave giant poops. Um, now, you know me, 
and you're probably like me, it wouldn't bother you one bit. It'd probably get you guys excited to see cool iguanas like I am excited to come home and see this gal hanging out right here. But the thing is, is that they are, they are an animal that is out of place. However, they have made a home here in South Florida. Um, I'm just gonna let this happen uh, because about the only thing she could ruin uh, is hibiscus plants, which they themselves are not native. So I really don't care if she eats the leaves of plants. The reality is, is they're not competing with uh, any um, native lizards. They don't compete with any native lizards because our native lizards are basically carnivores, whereas these are herbivores. Um, they could potentially eat some native plants, but last time I checked, Florida wasn't in any kind of uh, disaster as far as uh, their plants getting eaten up. Uh, there's plenty of plants to go around here. I think it's really cool to be perfectly honest with you. You can see she's got a partially regenerated tail right over there. She's not letting me get really close to her, um, but she does have that partially regenerated tail, as you can see right there. Um, you know, it's gonna grow back a little crooked, but I think she's kind of cool. Now, I don't know if you guys can make it out. I'm gonna zoom in. Um, you can see her belly. There's some, so, some little lumps uh, in her belly, and that's the outline of the eggs, and I'll bet you she's looking for a good place to lay them. Like I said, all the other lizards must have told her, go to Camp Kennan's, because uh, he likes lizards, and you'll be safe there. So I'm gonna hope this gal does her thing and digs a tunnel. Uh, so iguanas nest in the ground, they'll dig a long tunnel, and at the end of it, they lay their eggs, then they backfill the tunnel, and, uh, you know, in about, nah, nah, probably about four months, these little iguanas will hatch. Actually, you know what, it's, for my Cuban and rock iguanas, I, I don't know the exact incubation time, I forget, but it is somewhere between 90 days and four months. It's a fairly good, fairly moderate incubation time. But look at her go, she's just kind of wandering around. And you can see that when I get too close, she flattens herself up and she sticks out her dewlap and she position, positions herself um, to make herself look bigger. And she gets that tail ready to whip. Uh, and if I cornered her, she'd lunge out and she'd try and bite me as well. So it's definitely a formidable opponent. <laughs> I love her. It's so cool. And another thing you guys can kind of check out, most of the iguanas here in South Florida are Central American. They're from Central America. They're from parts of Mexico. And you can kind of tell by those really large spikes on her. And the males will get what's called a rostral horn. Uh, that's a little, it's not really a horn like the rhino iguana because there's no bone in it. It's more of uh, just one of their spikes. It's made of the same material keratin as their spikes. Now look at this, look at this. There's a good overhang here and I'll bet you she's gonna go under there. That's where a lot of the turtles, the Asian pond turtles like to hide. So this would be a good spot for her to dart under. And actually, it might be a good spot for her. Oh, there's another non-native. That's a curly tail lizard. See that? So there we have two non-native lizards, the Bahama, Bahami, Bahamian rather, curly tail lizard, and then a Central American species, iguana, iguana, the common iguana. But uh, there are different locales as I was talking about. And most of the iguanas that are loose in South Florida are from Central America. So they're not South American. Uh, they're a Central American animal. And I was just telling you, you can kind of tell. Uh, just the face, uh, the males get this rostral horn. This female does not have it. Um, you know, and the way I know this is a gal is because I told you she's got some eggs. You can really kind of make out the lumps again. I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can try and check out those lumps. You can just make them out. You see that, guys? You should see about three or four little lumps there right above her right hind leg moving towards the center of her body. Um, that's what you wanna be looking for. Also, another thing that you'll know, you can kinda of see her hips. See her little pelvis sticking out right there? That's another indicator that this animal has got eggs because all of her nutrients are going to feed the eggshells. They're going to, she's producing eggshells. So she really needs to put all that, look at her putting that dewlap down. And of course, we've got turtles wanting to know, hey Ken, uh, you got any food? Yeah, well, no. Um, well, why don't I just feed you guys? I know Kate won't mind. She likes to share her food. Here's some lettuce, uh, good spring greens. Go ahead and eat that, kids. There you go, good, good cooter. That's a good cooter. And I've seen a few cooters in my day. Hey, 
Look at this. What else is going on? Hey, how about an osprey just jumped down? We got so much life happening. An osprey just jumped into my pond and got a fish. What the heck? Hey, man, you got to pay for that. Oh, anyway, just so much randomness in my yard today. <laughs> Iguanas, curly tails, turtles, and an osprey. Uh, that's pretty mental. Anyway, I'm glad to see that it's a buffet and that everyone's happy. It's like uh, that part, there was an old movie, Ace Ventura. Come to me, my jungle friends. Uh, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, anyway, we're learning here today because that's what we do on this channel. We're not, uh, we're not about sensationalism. As you can see, if you're doing cool stuff with animals, the sensation is the animals. Uh, I can't believe that. We just had an osprey dive into the pond. Mental. Um, sorry about my camera skills. Couldn't zoom quick enough. Uh, but anyway, I'm just going to follow this gal around a little bit longer and then we'll kind of let her alone. I definitely don't want her to leave this yard because most people in the neighborhood aren't going to be as happy to see a large lizard looking for a place to lay her nest. I know, girl. I'm going to go ahead and let you do your thing. Have a good day. I just wanted to show my friends out there on YouTube what you had going on. Uh, I know a few of you out there, some shout outs, my boy Christopher Supper and uh, Rebecca Arroyo up there in Long Island. I know they'll be excited for this video because they're iguana nuts. And uh, I think many more of you folks are iguana nerds too. And that's cool. And uh, gosh, I almost wish she would come hang out by the pond, the uh, aquascape pond. Uh, but, you know, what are you going to do? I love adventure. I love that the adventure comes to me. We had a lot in this video. And, uh, hey, why not? Uh, if you're feeling frisky. Frisky? Maybe I'm frisky. Where's Kate? Hi, beautiful wife. All right, so it's a little, um, a little update here on this iguana situation. No, we don't start it off like that. Me like that. I didn't start it off with you like that. Yeah, I, you did. No, I didn't. I pressed record after you were done yelling at me for giving away our organic greens. I, apparently, they're expensive. I got in trouble. I'm supposed to use the rotting bananas, but I used the organic greens, and I kind of got scolded. But, hon, come over here and look. Look, she was digging here, babe. See? Am I okay with no shoes on? I think so. I have no shoes on either. We're going to go for it. So, we just saw her out um, across the pond and I kind of wanted to see if we could tempt her, tempt her tummy with the taste of a banana. Didn't really run. Um, so where do you think she went, Boob? I don't know. I'm focused on red ants. Oh, there's no red ants. They're all over the place. Here's the, the uh, radiated. Now I did put the electric wire back on and now I'm running it into this new kind of configuration. So be careful when you cross over it with me. Come on, hon. And don't trip, this is where Ed, my buddy Ed fell, right here. Get her in there, Ed. Don't trip, don't trip. Ed, Jesus Christ. We, what, we no, I want you to be with me. I don't like it when you're not around. Even when I'm in a bad mood? I don't care, you could be in a bad mood. Come on, I'll get you out of that bad mood. I really wanted those organic greens, man. I really screwed up, man, I ate her greens. You didn't eat my greens. Oh, that's right, I fed the greens. Look at this poop. Kind of Most likely tortoise poop. Come here, hon. I don't think Come on, babe. Fence, don't be. We'll climb over it. I don't see her. Well, we have to look for her. She's such a chicken today. Come I on. Go, I go from here. <laughs> babe, get over here. To... Get. You can't leave me alone like this. I don't have any shoes on. That's all right. We're going native. Mm, be careful. Like She's so beautiful. Look at how she negotiates this fence. Come on. Come on. That's a guile. What if I get shot? Ah, it'll be electrified. It's going to be good content? Good content, babe. That's We're it. We're not about sensationalism. No, we are not about sensationalism. <laughs> Come on. Where the heck is this lizard, man? I don't know. I don't know either. No, come on, walk. Are you going? I'm going. Ow. Ah. Ooh. Ow. Ah. Oh, I got baby ah. feet. That's for sure. Ow. Ah. Ow. Ooh. Ow. Ah. This lizard isn't even here. Where'd she go? I watched her. She was, um... She's, oh, she's on the island, though. What? She's on the island? Yeah, you gotta swim to her. Oh, for crying out canaries. Come here, I'll hold the camera. You go for a swim. Should I? No, it's disgusting. You wanna take the paddleboard? There she is. You should go get the paddleboard. There she is. 
You're right, I should. All right, let's go. I'm paddle boarding to the island to try and feed. The camera and I'll keep it on the, the animals. You hear that, people? And we can just watch these little guys. These little um, water turtles. Some kind of water turtle that we have here in Florida. I know Kenan's told me a few times, but it's escaping my mind today. Hmm. Come on, little guy. Hey. Oh, here he comes. I think, hey, is that the zoom? Yeah, that's the zoom. Here. And here comes Kenan with his best surfer impersonation. So, are you still talking, babe? Yeah, bruh. Right, yeah, let's get gonna, wet, bro. Let's do it. We're gonna get this paddle board out here. Oh this, no, do I have to get on the board with you? Do you want them? Um, this is uh, our coastal paddle surfboard. Uh, these guys are great. They're out of Virginia Beach and uh, they hooked it up because we have a really cool video where we're gonna use these paddle boards in the future. Now, if I come on with you and sit on this thing, you promise you're not gonna tip it over? Because I'll be really, really angry. Otherwise, I have to. <laughs> Otherwise, I have to use the zoom. Yeah, come. Sit. Well, we, here, come sit. I'm oh, God. Step in here for a minute. Ew. Okay. Let me turn it around. Yeah, so turn that, around. So you don't have to step entirely. And All right. I will bring you. Wait, seriously? Yeah. Just skip Are we doing this? We're doing this. Oh, my I'll God. Gross. What, what if I fall in? I'm going to put my phone Oh, my God. In. I'm going to cry if I fall in. Don't fall in because that's our camera. It's the only camera we have. <sighs> We're not a very. Rich family. Oh my god. This is this is really not Just get good. Alright, all right, hold that. This is this is crazy. Oh all this to try and feed this. Hey, where'd the iguana go? It's there. She's going towards the okay, tree. Okay, yeah, she's going up in the tree. Alright, that's my wife. <clears throat> oh my god. Okay. Oh Jesus. Shh. Oh, just kidding. I know, sorry. I gotta think of a new Jesus. word. Oh boy. That's a banana. Oh, 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 oh. Right. oh. Hey, just oh. We got this. I'm totally, I'm totally not Stop gonna. Doing Stop doing that. This is a sketchy board. Stop doing that. Stop. I'm not doing anything, hon. Oh <laughs> we are in trouble. Oh my God. Don't oh fall. Dude, do not ruin Wait, that camera. Do I, I got to move back or forward for the for this to be better? Hold on. Forward? Maybe forward. Oh, Jesus. Wait. Our skag Wait is minute. caught. <laughs> the skag is, this is like, I think people are going to be annoyed with this Wait video. Minute, oh, here we go. All right, we're moving. Oh my God. We're going okay. out. Oh my We're God. all on our way. Tw tw turn the camera back. No. Turn it backwards. Just turn it backwards. Okay. All right. We're on our way. I don't know how to To a point secret it. island on the camp. Ca oh, Jesus. Babe, point it what? up a little. Oh, okay. They got my crotch. Hey, everybody. Okay. So as you can see. Wait, I want to put it on the iguana, we're not totally you. Wobbly. Sorry. Oh, there she is. Oh, my God. We're so tipping over. No, we're not. Yeah, we are. Don't freak out now. She might run. Well, don't tip. I come offering you peace and good tidings. Dude, she's, is she going to attack us? No, she's not going to attack us. She's terrified. Okay. I'm going to break it. We're going to sit down. She just said, oh, just, just relax. Just relax. Okay. All right. I'm going to break this in half. I'm going to throw a banana oh. at her. Did she There's a banana. Are There's you hungry? Banana. That's all I'm going to do. And now we're going to relax. Maybe. Let's just, just chill out. All right, everyone. So the, well, that was a big turtle. Oh, jeez. So here we are. Um, this is the little update. I was hoping we can get her fed. But you know what would be even cooler, guys? perfectly honest with you is if she decides to dig a nest on this island that would be a really really cool what i got her situation maybe she's like in labor so she's not hungry uh that's po you know what you actually bring up an extremely good point when they get this close to laying um, their body is full with eggs, so they really don't have much of an appetite because, as I mentioned earlier, uh, they're using all the stored nutrition and fat reserves to kind of see them through this period in, their, uh, in the life cycle of, a, of this particular organism, which is the common green iguana. Babe, you always ask such good questions. Well, when I was in labor, I wasn't hungry. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Food was see? the last thing on my mind. Really? Good grief. Well, she's got some banana there, and if she doesn't eat it, I'm sure that the good old, um, the turtles will get it. You know, the, the, the big ones, these guys. What are they called again, the big ones right there, babe? I forget. Oh, uh, they're called... You know. The water turtle. Yeah, all right, great. Yeah, giant Asian pond turtle. So, the, yeah, wait, he has what semi are the ones with the little green head? I was trying to remember that. The little green head? Yeah, the green stripe on their head. The cooters? But the, are they cooters? Sure. Well, I think, yeah, yeah, cooters. Yeah, see, like I said, I know all about cooters. Um, yes. Oh, I no, I remember hearing you say that on the other video. Yeah, Maybe well, no, this is the same video. 
Oh, they on, don't on know. An earlier part of the video. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Earlier today, I filmed Earlier this today. alone. Yeah. Can we paddle to the side now? You want to go to the you're side? You're very shaky. I don't, I'm not I don't shaky. Know about your you're the one shaking. Jeez. I don't know about your babe. center of gravity. My center of gravity's fine. I rode a bike my whole life. Parkin? Look at her. Look at how terrified she is. Don't you love I this? I just woman? don't want to go into the pond. It's, don't you it's love her? So it's, gross. it's April Fool's Day, people. Should oh, I do it? Don't <laughs> don't <laughs> All it's right. really gross. That's gross. All right. So uh, we're going to bon voyage this. There's a cooter. Where? Jeez. Babe! <laughs> All right, we better get out of here. If you like the videos, enjoy them. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Head on over to Patreon.com if you guys want to help support us with more educational yet ridiculous videos of my wife and I. <laughs> oh my uh, okay. was, and why was this my idea? All right, I don't know. What's to the her side. Idea? To the side. All right, I'm going to get her home. We'll see you guys all soon. And uh, we'll do updates on this lizard. Oh, Hopefully she doesn't run away. Bye, guys. Learning's good. Yeah. Okay. See you soon.